Hello everyone and welcome to this eCognition Deconstructed video of this month. Today we're going to talk about an algorithm called Remove Objects. This algorithm is very nice uh, if you want to, for example, remove small image objects and apply the so-called minimum mapping unit. Or also if you, for example, have small unclassified image objects and you want to reclassify them based on the neighboring image objects with which the segment is sharing the biggest part of its border, then you also could use the remove objects algorithm. So first a little bit of theory and examples and then two small use cases and then that's a wrap. First this definition. So this algorithm removes the image object specified in the image object domain and each image object is merged into the neighbor image object with the largest common border or by color. So you have two different settings that you can choose from here. I'm gonna explain that in detail in a second. Again, this algorithm is especially helpful for clutter removal. Two main settings that you can choose from, merging by shape and merging by color. Merging by shape is the default setting. And that means it's gonna merge into the image object that it shares the longest common border with. You also can define a threshold for minimum length of a common border. If you, for example, only say it should merge with a neighbor if the common border is at least 70% or something. Second setting is merging by color. You can select the layers to be used for this color merge and also you can define a color threshold and only image objects with a color difference smaller than or equal to neighboring image objects will be merged. I'm gonna have a nice use case for this one. So it's only gonna merge into spectrally similar image objects and not based on the border length, okay? So that's the main difference between these two. I have prepared a few examples and what we want to do in these examples is to remove these yellow image objects. So these image objects that are classified into this yellow class. First one is this one. So on the left hand side, that's what we have. That's our classification. And we say we want to remove objects based on the size. So 10 pixels and our target class is this gray class. That means every image object that is smaller than 10 pixels will be dissolved in this target class, the gray class, okay? Let's see how that looks like after execution. Here we go. All the small image objects are removed because they've all been smaller than 10 pixels. Let's change the size of the image objects that we want to remove. Let's put that to four pixels. What would then be the result? Think about it for a second. And here we go. You see the large image objects that are classified here into this yellow class are still there because they're larger than four pixels. So they're not considered in this remove object algorithm. So before you fall asleep, let's have a more difficult example. This one has two target classes in the background. So you see orange and gray. And now we also want to remove image objects smaller than 10 pixels based on the shape. So what you're gonna see is that all of them gonna be removed, but the very interesting image object is in the center, the big one. So that's sharing its border with the orange class and the gray class, but it probably shares 60% of its border with the gray class and therefore it is merged into this gray class and removed. Let's simply change the setting from shape to color. And now the result will look different. And this big image object, this yellow one in the center, will be dissolved into the orange class because spectrally it is more similar to the orange class than to the gray class. So be aware of these settings. Let's have a few more other examples. So let's say we want to remove image objects based on their size, 10 pixels, and the target, target class in this case is orange. What will happen? Nothing because these yellow image objects are not touching the orange class, so they cannot be dissolved into this class. One final example here. So we want to remove objects based on the size, 10 pixels and shape. Target class is the gray class. The result would be this. So these two image objects on the left, the yellow ones, they cannot be 
removed because the target class is only the gray class and not the orange class. Okay, let's have a look at two use cases. So what do we have here? That's a Sentinel-2 image. Um, we did a burnt area classification and this year in Europe it was very hot and very dry so we had a lot of fires and that's just a nice use case of how to use e-cognition first of all to classify based on change so doing a change detection but now we have a problem here in this case we have fairly small image objects classified as burnt area as you see here on the left hand side these in the green area and we want to remove them from our classification so applying a minimum mapping unit and also we want to get rid of these unclassified image objects within our large burnt area. To do so, the best algorithm within eCognition is remove objects. And that's exactly this process here in the rule set. So we're going to use the algorithm remove objects. We set a class filter to burnt and unclassified. So we want to apply this on the burnt image objects and the unclassified ones. And the condition in this case is area smaller equal to 500 pixels. Let's change that and say if you, it's just smaller, smaller than five pixels, then you will be removed from the classification. And remember by default, it's set to shape. So it's gonna apply it with shape setting. Okay, I executed it, you see the result. We removed the small image objects. So let's increase this so you see even larger ones uh, can be dissolved if you change this condition, 25, execute it like this. So we're cleaning up our classification. So the small image objects that are classified as burned and surrounded by unclassified, they're gonna be removed into the class unclassified. And the other way around, if a small image object is unclassified and surrounded by mainly burned, it's gonna dissolve into the burned class. So I'm increasing it here drastically just to show you how that works. So I set it to 1000 in the end. And now the smallest image object within this project is 1000 pixels. Good. Next use case. So here we have a land cover classification and I created a small example here. That's a small image object classified as water. And now with the settings here, we want to remove water image objects that are smaller than 250 pixels. In our case, this image object is 152 pixels based on shape. And you see the relative border too, that feature that are displayed in the image object information window here. So it should dissolve into the class grassland because that's the longest common border for this image object. I execute it. And that's the result. So that worked perfectly. Let's change the settings. I'm gonna reset this thing here. Let's zoom to the image object that I prepared. And let's have a look at the algorithm again. And we're gonna change shape to color. And now what should happen is that it should instead of dissolve into this grassland class, it should dissolve into the water class because spectrally it is more similar to the water class than to the grassland class. I executed it and there you go. Now it removed it into the class water instead of grassland. One more example, so I'm resetting it again. I am changing the target class now. So you see here, gonna go back to shape and target class at the moment is none. That means it can be solved or be removed into all classes. Now I'm gonna change it to build up and water. So it cannot be uh, dissolved or removed into the class grassland. So when I execute it now by shape, it's gonna be removed into the class build up. Okay. So these are different settings. Um, please play around. Let's also, let's just remove these water objects. So the area is smaller than 250 and they can be removed into all classes. Hit the play button, execute it. And now all image objects that are classified as water, smaller than 250 pixels are dissolved or removed. Let's also have a look at this grassland class, apply it here. 
and remove the small grassland image objects. Let's check all classes. That means now we do not have any image objects smaller than 250 pixels. They're all removed into the neighboring class. That's already it for this eCognition Deconstructed video. We discussed the remove objects algorithm. I hope you learned something new, you enjoyed it a little bit and hear you next time.